Here you see an overhead view of a logging camp. You see the business office, the mess hall, and sleeping tents for the loggers. The loggers have multiple duties, from constantly repairing equipment to preparing fuel for the train locomotives. The first step in the process is falling the trees. Here you see loggers in that process. Once felled, there are two ways to cut the felled tree to log lengths. One way is using the misery whip seen here. Hatchets were also employed for this purpose. The logs are then pulled down a skid road, which is powered by a steam donkey. This, by the way, is the origin of the term skid road, used to designate an area of town known for its rough characters. The process of moving logs to the loading area is called yarding. Here, a skyline carriage equipped with logging tongs, a pair of curved arms with sharp points, pivot like scissors to bite into a log for yarding and then loading. The process of loading requires a hay rack boom which is on a spar tree, a tree that has been delimbed. The hay rack boom keeps the log in balance as it is loaded onto the train car. It is powered, again, by the steam donkey. The logs are then ready to be chained to the train bed for transport. Once the logs arrive at the sawmill, an overhead winch can be operated by hand or be steam assisted. This winch removes the logs from the log car. A logging tong, which digs deep into the bark, is used to lift the logs. After the excess bark is removed, the winch places the log on the ramp and a second logging tong is attached. A crane and a steam donkey raise the log up the ramp and into the sawmill. The carriage and saw blade are controlled by the sawyer, the crusty looking fellow in the blue hat. At the end of the ramp, the log is attached to a motorized carriage, which moves the log back and forth through the saw blade, creating slabs. You can see the slabs that have been cut from the log. The next step is the ripping saw will cut these slabs into lumber. The sawmill stores their lumber in the lumber yard. Big Sur Wood Products has ordered some lumber to be delivered. A Shea locomotive is commissioned to load and deliver the order. The crane hooks the order and sets it on the flat car. In the background, you'll see the beehive burner. This burner disposes of waste wood and sawdust.
This train has many orders to be delivered. Only the last flat car carries lumber for Big Sur Wood Products. As the train reaches the Big Sur Wood Products factory, it passes the factory, a switch is then thrown, and the Shea backs the consist into the siding. A hand winch will lift the order from the last flat car onto a cart, and then it will roll it into the factory.